Hello guys, welcome back to an uh, unboxing and review of this product, uh, on the Spicy Sweet Design Channel. And uh, this content is for adult collectors. If you're under the age of 18, I'd like to ask you nicely to leave. Uh, this is an unboxing and review of the Toy Notch United States of Utopia 112 scale figure uh, called Trash Can. Um, yeah, so this is the Trash Can. And uh, I want to... Uh, uh, Talk something quickly about pricing and stuff like, uh, you know, online retailers and stuff like that. Um, you know, I recently just noticed uh, Big Bad Toy Store actually don't have the best price uh, for a lot of products. In fact, a lot of the stuff seems to be grossly overpriced. Um, for example, uh, the video that I just uploaded, uh, I think like an hour ago, the uh, Sila review. Uh, yeah, that Sila figure costs over $100. Uh, it's a retool of the Ronin, which is 60 bucks. So somehow, uh, between <laughs> like extra armor pieces here and there, uh, the figure uh, went up by $40 in price. Almost like double the price of the figure. And I noticed that a lot of, I, I noticed a lot of it with a lot of other brands as well. Uh, this one also, uh, they're selling this for like $56 when you can actually get it on most online retailers for around 40 bucks. So yeah, uh, we got this one for around 40 bucks, And I think that's the uh, right price for it because uh, the wholesale price for this thing, I think is like 20 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, um, just, just so you guys know, you know, a lot of people like to complain about prices. I'm, I'm telling people, you know, you should do your own research. You should shop around. Uh, I mean, if you're willing, like, if you're just, like, willing to support that particular brand or company, uh, then maybe you don't really have the right to complain. I mean, I have a lot of people who does the same thing to me. It's like, how come your prices are higher than everybody else? I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, man. And as I always say, you know, if we can't offer you the best prices and we can't offer you the best service, uh, feel free to shop around, you know. So there we go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, we don't carry this figure. We actually got this from another seller. So just letting you guys know, uh, we just want to test out these products to see if, uh, if this is something that we might be interested in carrying in the future. So you see here, this is a this is a very small type packaging. You can see right here, here's a Hasbro uh, Black Series Battle Droid that I repainted. And uh, yeah, so this is by the brand Toy Notch. Uh, the guys who make the Astrobots, you know, the very popular figures. And they also make the uh, Lost Planet line, uh, based on the licensed video game for Capcom. Alright, so here we have the, uh, I guess the UPC, Toy Notch 2020, made in China. And uh, ages 15 plus, not for children, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I, I really like the name of this <laughs> character, Trash Can. <laughs> Let's hope it's not trash. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, this this figure is sponsored by uh, my friend Jason. Uh, he wanted to start collecting robots. Uh, the thing with robots is that you know since they're like you know they 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 don't look like humans. Uh, you can technically use them with any scale. To be honest with you, you can like put these next to your uh, Gundam model kits. You can put this next to your kaijus. It, do, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, like, you know, the fact that they label as a one twelve scale figure, yeah, it, it doesn't matter, man. Like, when it comes to robots, like, anything goes. So, yeah, I, I like this. Very, uh, very, no, no instruction manuals whatsoever. That, that's really nice. I, I don't like it having papers and stuff like that. And one thing I don't like uh, right off the bat is that the head. It's not connected to the figure. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey. That, that's, uh, that's, that's very shocking. When you buy a figure and the head is not connected. That definitely tells you something about the quality control. And then there's a piece loose. Floating inside the packaging. That is not a good sign. So, maybe a trash can. Maybe this is trash. Alright, so anyway, let's go ahead and get this guy out. Hey, so yeah, I, I want to do the, these unboxing videos so the owners can see that if something is fucked up right out of the box, uh, you get to they they get to see it. <laughs> it's like oh, instead of like call, saying like I fucked up the figure, uh, it came fucked up. <laughs> so 
All right, so uh, these hand covers, they come off. This is actually a known issue. A lot of people have been saying this. So that, that's, that's fine. But the head that came detached right out of the box, that's not cool. Like, why, why is the head detached? All right, so anyway, so let's see how this guy stands. All righty. I do have my tape measure here so I can show you guys. So, yeah, he's about as tall as the uh, Star Wars Battle Droid, which is in 112 scale. So, let's see how tall this thing is. That Battle Droid is about six and a half inch tall-ish. This guy is about a little bit six and a quarter. Yeah, not counting like this little antenna thing. So, not bad. It's over six inches tall. That's uh, That's pretty good. All right, so let's go over the our accessory real quick. We have this uh, saw-like style uh, machine gun. Yep, this is a machine gun right here. So, uh, not, not no painted details whatsoever. No paint applique. Well, actually, I, I'm wrong. Uh, the, the, the bullets are painted. So there's that. Have a removable cover here. You can remove this piece. You can remove this piece, and then you can remove the. Uh, uh, I think you can remove the box magazine. All right? You can remove the box magazine. Yep, there you go. And then now you just have the rifle. Uh, yeah, I think this thing needs some paint work. <laughs> it, it's really nice, though. I mean, it, it's pretty nice for the price. I mean, this thing is what, like 40 bucks? Uh, I don't know. If this is, do I see the value in this? 40 bucks, huh? Well, we'll see about the articulation. Maybe it's very well engineered. All right. So we'll put this back. I'm sure he can hold it. It doesn't come with option hand, so that means uh, the fingers are adjustable to hold this. It's not loose or anything like that, so that's pretty good quality. Uh, the, the figure does feel like a very high quality figure. It's just sad that the hand covers come off and the head is detached right out of the box. Alright, so right off the back here we have this piece. Uh, this thing opens up and then we have a... Ooh, I think I'm actually missing a piece here. Yes, I think I have a defect. Because on other online reviews, I see that this guy has a little uh, clip here that holds like the uh, uh, what's that? The uh, the battery pack, right? I seen it in the two reviews that has the battery pack. How come this guy doesn't have the little handle? So that that's interesting. All right, so that that kind of sucks. So I guess I might have to contact the seller about this. Uh, we have the little battery pack in there, and then uh, this thing closes up. Uh, the head is on the hinge, oh, double ball joint, so that's pretty cool. Wow, so very disappointed with the QC with this brand. Uh, <laughs> okay, we have the shoulder articulation right here. We have a hinge right there. We have the uh, um, shoulder that goes up we have a independent shoulder armor piece i think oh no the shoulder armor is attached to the shoulder so a little hinge right here bicep rotation double jointed elbows the hand cover comes off very easily this is what a lot of people tell me i think this hand is actually a straight peg that picks into that piece uh the peg is very small so i don't want to risk it the fingers can open up so you can hold the guns and stuff like that uh, yeah, there's a hidden accessory right here. This is like a little switchblade thing. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, I do want to say like this figure is most uh, entirely, almost entirely made of ABS plastic, so you don't have to deal with plasticizers and stuff like that. So that's good. Uh, we got an ab crunch, pretty cool. Uh, we have oh these things don't move. Okay, the ball joint right here for the hips. We got the side cut, double joint the knees, very nice. Is there any additional articulation point here? Nope, nothing. Uh, there's a pin here, so I'm assuming there's some sort of a articulation gimmick going on here. Oh, what what is this for? So it can raise his leg? Ah, okay, so that improves the articulation quite a bit. 
that's cool that's uh that's good engineering right there we have a hinge right here we got ankle rockers we got the toe hinge uh overall i said this thing is a pretty pretty uh, well engineered product uh just that you know qc seems to be a major issue the head came off it's missing the clip for the uh battery i don't see it here i don't see it here i don't think anything actually fell off when I unbox it, I mean, you guys saw the whole video. So it's missing the battery clip. Uh, so I definitely need to contact uh, the seller. I mean, yeah, as sellers, I get this kind of crap all the time. And then uh, a lot of times, like, we have to uh, uh, just take the loss. <laughs> when it comes to stuff like this, I do, why is this thing missing parts? And then we can't get the replacement parts from the, uh, the distributor or the... The manufacturer and then we just end up like you know oh shit son of a so yeah that that really really sucks but anyway uh let's hold on to the machine gun here looks pretty good overall very solid figure uh, i'm just a little bit disappointed about the qc qc seems to be a big problem with this guy Oh, it's missing one part, and uh, I think for some people, that's just enough to ask for a refund. Yeah, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll see uh, if we can get that piece replaced. All right, man. Uh, so like, I'd like to thank my friend Jason for uh, you know <laughs> spending his money on this guy. Uh, I did work really hard to get him a good deal. Uh, we did try to get, a, get these from the distributor, but now seeing the quality control issue... Uh, this might be a nightmare <laughs> when it comes to, uh, you know, people asking for replacements and returns. Seeing, like, how this thing is already missing a piece right there, right off the bat. All right, so this is it. This is the review of the uh, Toy Notch uh, United States of Utopia 112 scale trash can figure. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.